Hello, my name is Scott Anger, and welcome to a tutorial that I'm making for our web class specifically. And this is going to be for creating a server, a home server, because I'm not going to teach you guys how to port forward because I don't want you guys to worry about being hacked and everything. But, okay, so we're going to create a web server for your home use, you can use it for whatever you like, you can use it for like a home website or something I don't know, you can do whatever you want with it and first I'm going to actually explain to you what it is a web server is pretty much just a server that serves all the files and it's what will tell your browser which page it actually needs it will serve that file to the browser. So, in other words, it's something extremely important having to do with the internet. It couldn't survive. The internet wouldn't be if there were no servers, because that's essentially what all of the internet is. Alright, so I'm going to go into uh, finding the software and installing the software and then we're going to create first a web page so let me record what time this is because I can only take this in 15 minutes and then it kind of stinks but let's start this up okay so I'm going to open up Chrome which is my my browser, I really like using it. It's the fastest browser and it's also free and open source, which is really nice because the tool we're also using right now is open source. I'm going to bring that webcam to the front. Actually, you know what? No. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make my web page like this so that you can see my, my webcam. Yeah. Because so I don't want to have to be worrying about it. I don't know. I know there's a way to do it, but I don't know how to bring it up so that my webcam, or this little thing over here, uh, shows all the time in front of everything else. But, oh well, nothing we can do about that right about now. And, let's see. Sweetheart, let's get back. No, sweetheart. Okay. I don't know what the problem is here. Why am I not getting any connection? Okay, there we go. There we go. I can't believe it. My cat always does that whenever I want to do a tutorial. So anyway, the software you're going to use is called XAMP. All we have to do is so simple. Type XAMP into the Google search bar or the Chrome Omni bar which is this thing up here you can type your search directly into that if you didn't know that and you have Chrome so it's gonna be the first link it's always gonna be the first link it's right there it's from Apache Friends and dash XM so we're gonna go into that and we're gonna find our file Oh my gosh, my mouse is flickering and it's annoying, but whatever. Alright, so we're going to click on the, we're going to scroll down the page from the top and scroll down to XM for Windows and we click on that. Very simple. I hope you at least have Vista or uh, 7 when we're doing this because I would highly recommend using one of those two operating systems, but because it doesn't have as many errors with it. But anyway, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to scroll all the way down to the download section, which is right here. And we're going to click on the installer because I really just want to make this nice and easy on you guys because I don't know who I'm kidding. Everybody likes an installer. So, We'll click on the installer, and it'll take us to SourceForge, which is pretty much just a open source uh, file download thing. So I'm going to save this to my downloads folder, and we're going to wait for that to download. 
And a couple of the things that can be done with the server when we're doing this is uh, there's many things we can actually do. We can uh, we can put our CSS pages on there, HTML, JavaScript, PHP. The limits are pretty much endless as long as you have a powerful enough computer. Because some of those servers out there, they're, they're more powerful than my computer. And I have AMD quad core with 4 gigs of RAM and a pretty nice graphics card for $50. It's a 48, it's a Radeon 4850, if anybody out there knows what that is. But anyway, we're going to wait for that to finish downloading. Oh my gosh, look at all these downloads I can remove from here. Ah, oh, yes, this makes me happy. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. And just checking on the other computer I have right over here, because I, I'm not one of those lucky people who has two screens. They're, they're so lucky. I mean, really. I think I'm going to pause this and wait till the download's almost finished and then I'll resume it. Alright. Be right back. And we are back and now I'm recording and my mouse is flickering again. But, well, I think it has to do with the recording program. It probably might look like the circling thing. To, uh, the circling mouse. I don't know why it does that. And our downloads must finish. We get 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And we are all systems go. Okay. So if you're not using Chrome, you, you might want to just uh, navigate to the folder. I actually think I'll do that right now. So I'm going to open up my file browser, make that a tiny bit bigger for you guys so you can see it better, and I'm going to go to my downloads folder. Uh, I have it in my favorites. It should be in your, oh gosh dang it, it's in your my documents folder or whatever, I don't know exactly, but mine's right here, and here's my XAMPP installer, and if you have it, that's awesome. Okay. So we're going to double click on that, and it's going to bring up this whole user account control thing. You're just going to look, yes. I can almost guarantee, no, not almost. I can guarantee you that this software is virus free. Okay. It's just a server. And important has to do something to UAC, which is more security for Windows. Oh, where'd it go? Okay, well, I'm just going to have to go through this installation process without my face being on there. As much as I love my face to be on there. I'm like the shyest people you'll ever meet. It's a funny thing. Okay, I'm going to click next, and it's going to ask us where we want to install the... where we want to install the server. So we're going to click Browse. I don't want, well, you can install it on your C drive. I would highly recommend installing it on something else, maybe like an external hard drive that's always connected or something, or a flash drive you always have plugged into your computer. But you can store it on your C drive. I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do that. You hit browse. Well, you can put it wherever you want, but I'm going to go into my computer, and I have three hard drives on my computer, one's like 120 or two, almost 200 gigs and I'm going to use that one. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it XM hit enter OK and as you can see here's my uh, my installation folder, we'll hit next install and I don't remember if this is correct. I'm just going to do this. I messed this up last time. I'm not going to do it, mess it up this time. Because I couldn't. It was always running, but it wasn't serving it to my network. So I'm just going to install it without installing, installing it as a service. So I would just click install. 
And now it's just going to go through installing all those enormous set of files. By the way, this will take roughly 600 megabytes. So you got to make sure you at least have a gig, including anything else you might want to put on the uh, the site, including pictures. Oh my goodness, pictures take up way too much space. And while this is installing, I actually think I'll bring up my picture. And now you can see my lovely face. I'm just kidding. I'm not that good looking. Okay, so. <laughs> And as you can see, all these files are just zipping up across the screen, and that that just means it's installing, which is a really good thing. Because if that wasn't doing that, I really hope you don't get any errors. That would really suck right about now. Because I'm trying to do a tutorial, I've never actually had that happen. And it's still extract. I don't know if it'll go this quick for you. I have quad core and a couple hard drives in there and RAM and at the wazoo, or not RAM at the wazoo, get space out of the wazoo. <laughs> uh, so, we'll just wait for that to finish uh, installing or whatever. And I will cut the video, but I'll be right back after I cut the video. So, don't worry, I'll just mush them together. So, and there's the PHP admin, and now we can. Now it's installed. Don't worry about it. You can click finish, and congrats. And it's gonna ask you if you want to start the XAMP control panel, and I'm gonna have to say yes. I would like to do that right about now. And it asks me to select my language. You can choose German if if you know German. But I would highly recommend you using the the. USA version, cause, cause Europe, none of Europe speaks English apparently. <laughs> Psych. But uh, now, just to test this is working, I'm gonna have you guys click start on Apache, and it's gonna bring up Windows Firewall. Lovely. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to allow access. And do I want to start my SQL? Yeah, I'm going to start my SQL too. And that's now running. And yes, allow access, please. Okay, I really hope I don't have to do that every single time. In which case, I really should have installed it as a service. Now, just to make sure everything's working, I'm going to go into this other computer I have right next to me and see if I can access the control panel from that computer. And voila, I've got it on that computer. I'll bring it up on this computer so you guys can see that one too. I'll close that file window and I'll minimize the excellent thing. Open up Chrome. And. Okay, I'm not waiting for this. Okay, there's one of two things you can do here. If you know your computer's IP address, I'd highly recommend learning how to set it up as a static IP address so you can always access that the the site pretty much. But since we're on the computer where the site's being hosted, we can type in local host and enter. And it'll bring us up to the splash. Lovely, lovely splash. It actually works. I'm happy because last time I ruined the install somehow by installing it as a service. So I guess this is quite an advantage to using the other thing. So we'll click English, and as you can see, we have our administration place. I do not want you guys messing with this. I will be right back. Uh, don't go anywhere. And I shall close this video. Yes. And we're back. Had to wait for that file to just go away. Had to just go away. 
So now we're just going to go for the extreme basics. I'm going to use Notepad++. You guys can use whatever one that you guys like from what we've learned in class. I have Dreamweaver and all of the which is extremely expensive, but I'm not going to use it because I prefer not to use it. I like to work directly with my code at all times. So I'm going to close up Chrome and we're going to open up uh, we're going to open up the folder. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. It opened pretty much to where I had it last time. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to go over to the web de the development uh, thing and here's xamp and I need administrative uh, administrative properties apply okay I do not want it to be read only I want to be able to edit it and really like really oh that's what the blue means I forgot I forgot it's been such a long time since I, I I've never actually dealt with that but this is compressed that's what that is compressed alright so we're gonna open up the folder and we're going to ht docs now this is exactly where all of our web pages are gonna go every single bit of it so, the first thing I want to do, I want to remove every single one of these files except for this icon file. So I'm going to delete the index.php and, whoa, 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 yeah, and the HTML one. Yes, so recycle bin, and delete those two. Alright, now, if we go over to here, we're not going to get the same thing we did last time. So we're going to type in locals, and it's just going to show us the file directory. Okay, so now what must we do? Well, we have to add our index file, because that's what the server's going to serve. It's the first file in that folder. So I'm going to open up Notepad++, and what a nice thing. It actually as uh, I actually remember to close everything last time. That was pure luck. I expected to see one of my old files that I was working on in this. So we're just going to create our first HTML file in this for the website. So I'm going to go with the doc type because it's kind of necessary and kind of not necessary. It, it, it's good practice. Let's just say that. It can't hurt anything. <laughs> so let's open this up with the HTML tags. And we're going to save this. And it's going to want to save this in the Notepad directory. I don't want to save it there. I want to go into computer go on to my uh, web dev, go into xamp, go into HD docs, and then we're going to want to save our file. But well, what are we going to save the file name as? index.php or not php, html, sorry. I used to do php, but I don't really do that anymore because I don't really have a need for it create an entire upload thing for me. And then my parents are like, you know, I keep any computer all when we're gone. So it didn't really work out very well. But it worked. It worked really nicely. So we're just gonna create our next night HTML. And we're gonna oh my gosh, look at all these open windows. Okay, you know what you can close the exam control panel. Uh, and minimize this folder. And we're going to open up Chrome. Eh, I want them to see my beautiful face. I don't want it blocked. I don't want it blocked. I'm going to go to localhost. And as we can see, we're not getting the same folder directory. And you know why that is? It's exactly because we put in 
the what did we put in? We put in the HTML file. That's what it was. Okay, so I'm gonna minimize Chrome. And we're just going to add a little bit of content just to make sure that it's our file. Yeah? I think so. We're going to add a head uh, and a body. And save it up. We're going to go into the head. We're going to give us a title because by default it's going to have the title localhost. And what are we going to do? Let's just, I, I'm going to put it as x and uh, x and server, whatever. I don't really care. Then we're going to hit save and we'll go back in here and we'll see. It says x and server up here now. That's really nice. Okay, so let's go over here, go into the body. I'm just going to create, create a nice quick div. Trust me, there will be lifesavers later on. I know. I, I never really understood it before, but it, it, it's extremely handy. And we're just going to create an h1 header and close it. I'm going to put this is the title. Control save. Oh, control S. There's no control save. <laughs> I, I I just want don't want to confuse it, people. It it just happens. I know some people get confused. I'm sorry if I'm I'm, I'm just sorry. I can't really help you if you get confused, but I guess I can explain the best I can. So. Let's just add in the paragraph. We're gonna put this is some content. And I'm not even looking. And we're gonna put an exclamation point and save it. And we're gonna go back over here, and it works. And that, my friends, is the beginning to your own home server. I might go into some PHP and stuff and uploading and all that fun crap. Because it really is hard to do if you don't know how to program and stuff. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't know how to program. There might be some of you out there who know how to program. But you have to learn a new language if you have to to PHP or JavaScript or anything. So, in other words, thank you for watching. This has been... I, I really hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to close pretty much all of these windows now. Uh, as you can see, I did compress this whole thing so that this is going to make it all a little bit smaller than it really should be. So, it says my things won't kill by large. That's, that's an over, overstatement. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys like these tutorials. Maybe maybe you can tell me in class if you actually like these tutorials. So, or this tutorial. <laughs> whatever <laughs> okay thank you for watching i'll see you guys later bye bye